Hi everyone, Dr. Hale here, and welcome to this sort of mini informal intro video that I've produced. There are going to be graphics, like here, or like, yeah, right there. That feels good, doesn't it? Right? We're going to put graphics right there. Feel good about that. Graphics. Okay, so in this video, we're going to do a few things. Number one, I'm going to say hi. Hi. Number two, I'll show you the syllabus, give you a little preview of it and how it works, and show you the structures that I have, any designations or any confusions you might have. I'm going to clear those up. I'll tell you what you're going to do for the first week of class, and then I'm going to show you what you're going to do for the second week of class. But first, let me introduce myself. I may have had some of you in undergraduate classes, I may have had you in a graduate class previously, or you may have never met me and will never probably physically meet me because of COVID. We don't know how long this is going to last and how long the... Oh my God, a bug! Floop, floop. So my name is Dr. Matthew Hale. You may call me Matt. Uh, I have undergraduates call me Dr. Hale or Professor Hale or Dr. H or the Exalted One, but for you, just call me Matt. Uh, if you want to be formal, I, that's totally fine, but I'm not a very formal person, as you may have noticed from me flicking the bug into oblivion just there. I have a double PhD from Indiana University from the Department of Communication and Culture, which no longer exists. Rip and folklore and ethnomusicology, for which there are very few, if no jobs, especially in academia. Additional rip. I study pop culture, social media, digital communication and culture, and content creation. So both sort of the theory and critical studies of media, or social media, and also the making and doing of social media. And that's how this class is going to operate. We're going to think critically about social media, but we're also going to use social media as a tool. Next, let's turn to the syllabus. So if you want to look at the syllabus, it's available already right now on D2L. There's a very large crow in my backyard right now, just disregard that. Um, yeah. So if you want to look at the syllabus, it's available on D2L. Just click syllabus and there's the course calendar. You can look at it either as a full syllabus or just the course calendar or just the course policies or just the grading materials. Anything that is labeled read, listen, or watch, that is your assigned content for that week. Each week has a different theme and a seven day period of work. Whatever those things, read, watch, listen, consume that content, that's assigned. Anything beneath that that is labeled EX is extra or supplementary material. Throughout the semester, you're going to have an assignment where you have to read, consume, or listen to some additional material that's labeled for each week under EX. So it's going to coordinate, supplement, or augment whatever we're talking about that week. So if you find something that's really interesting to you that's associated with maybe platform architecture or, or circulation, and you see an EX piece of material down there, maybe it's an article or it's a documentary, Click it, find it, read it, consume it, and then you're going to produce uh, some notes about that piece of content. Assignments are always going to be due on Sundays at 11.59 p.m. They're generally speaking always going to be due as a PDF or a video file in Dropbox. If you have any issues or complications or anything like that, feel free. I'm a human being, you're a human being, and it's in the midst of COVID, so if a thing goes wrong, um, why wouldn't it? It's 2020, so feel free to contact me. But generally speaking, 11.59 p.m. via Dropbox video text, PDF. Yeah. So here's what you have to do for week number one. You're going to read three things and you're going to watch the Werner Herzog documentary, Lo and Behold. On the syllabus and under the course readings tab of our D2L website, there is a live link. Click that. It'll take you to the film and you can consume it. And this brings us to week number two. And this is really why I made this video. Look at all the pretty leaves. Isn't that nice? That's nice. Look how visual that is. It's so visual. Oh, you can see my ugly chair. Look how visual it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's calming. There are 21 of us in class, and there are, for week number two, 21 articles that are listed. If you're following me, that means each one of you is assigned a single article. That list of assignments is posted on Announcements Now. It's also posted under the uh, assignment instructions for the theory video assignment. So here's what you have to do for your assignment. Consume your article. Look up some information about the author or authors. Where did they get their education? What's their deal? Basically, figure out who they are, where did they work, why are they the way they are, why did they write this article other than they needed tenure. Then you're going to create an explainer-style video. Now, you can approach this a whole bunch of different ways. You can appear on camera. You can use PowerPoint or Keynote or some other presentation software to create visuals that you just do voiceover for. You can do this very informally, a single-shot take where you just stare into the camera as if it owes you money. You could use creative editing to tell your story or not you could do this as non-creatively and straightforward as possible you could be as creative as you want this isn't a production course i don't care if you own a dolly or a red camera or you only have a cell phone or whatever i don't care if you're an expert with adobe premiere or final cut pro or if you're using imovie or you're just doing this as a single long take all of that is totally fine with me what i am grading is substance were you able to take something complex understand it, and then represent it in a way that's easily digestible for others. 
that's an extremely useful skill. I think in graduate school, at least for my graduate school experience, a lot of time grad school is about sounding smart and writing in awkward, obtuse, weird ways to make other people think you're smart. That's fine. I did that and I enjoyed it to some degree. But I think it's more important to be understood rather than to sound smart. Communicating to be understood and get your message across is a really useful skill. It's going to help you in your professional life, whether you go in to get a PhD or if you decide to go work in the private or public sectors. All of those things, clear communication is useful. And being able to take something hard and complex, make it easy and digestible, that's a good skill. I'm excited to work with all of you, but also it's 2020. If you need a break, if you need help, if you need anything, just contact me. I also need a break and need help and am tired. And um, anyway, that's it. Welcome to class. Boop. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Hale. I wanna give you just a brief introduction to the course and some of the course. A car went by and ruined the audio. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And my neighbors are talking outside and they're cool.